All right. So I think. Let's see. Are we ready to fuck up a, a someone's future? Yes. All right. Fuck, I forget what we're supposed to do now. Basag. <laughs> Actually, maybe you're supposed to talk to Doc now. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, you continue on with Back to the Future? Yep. Yep. All we need is, is Matt now. <laughs> Freaking out. Zach. I'm here, man. Can can uh, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> What's up? So, um, basically, we're we're gonna stop a Karen feature, basically. <laughs> more or less, yeah. Uh, yeah. From taking over the world. That's more or less what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, how else would you describe it? Um, when Eric gets back, I want to say something I like about the plot of this video, uh, for the video game compared to, like, the movies. I'll be on. if I could say, like, this, <laughs> all it really is, is basically Doc putting Marty in far more danger than he did in the previous three films. Like, like seriously, like he, we Marty was put in, had a lot, like unnecessary danger. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So where were oh. we? Um, we oh. were in the middle of fucking up uh, <laughs> Miss Fuck Miss Fuckland's future. So, um, there's something I want to say. Something I want to say something positive about the plot of the game compared to the films. Okay. Well, compared to how it's you know it's a recurring plot element that for back for the Back to the Future films that the main antagonist has to be affiliated with the Tannen family. But for the video game, it starts out with <coughs> a Tannen family member member as a villain, but also from someone who is also another supporting cast uh, family. Such as the shrimp. So that's, right. that was very creative and genius. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, the, the series as a whole is really fun. I really like it. I'll set yeah. some money aside I mean... to stream the movies. Hey, Andy, what's keeping you? Oh, hello, Sonny. I guess I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big <laughs> scene, you know? No telling how Edna's gonna react. Wish me luck! Oh, for Pete's sake. Do it. <laughs> oh, God. Ruin You've, it. uh, got something on your suit. Oh, so I have. And this is where we must... Anti-stain formula, work your magic. Oh, no. <laughs> Emmett! Just in the nick of time. Um, step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. Oh, aren't you a vision? Like something that descended from the heavens. Yes, I'm feeling a bit elevated at the moment. There's something... Oh. oh what happened? S sorry, I, I held tabs so I can in increase your volume a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, it keeps lowering your volume to 78. I don't know why. Huh. It's like it always seems... I think like I've just gotta ask you. Wait. Your tie's a bit crooked. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply got to get it off my chest. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. My grandfather's suit! My formula! Oh, wow. uh, look! Hold on, Turn we should, your head. Let me, we should I'll rewind be right back, it, and we can try this all over again. Oh, let me, let, me, let me rewind that, sorry. Can you rewind it? Load game. There you go. Yeah, because I, I alt-tabbed to... In, uh, 
I don't know, like, Discord seems to be messing up Super Sprite's voice. Like, it always lowers it to 76. I'll have to look that up and see if that's a bug. Report that. Alright, let's try this again. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the night of all the mess-ups. Hey, Andy, yeah. what's keeping you? It's okay. No, oh, hello, Sonny. I guess I've got a mild case of Sunny stage dear. fright. I'm about to play my big <laughs> scene, you know? No telling how Edna's gonna react. Wish me luck! Oh, for Pete's sake. And now, to make him look like a hobo. Marty looks so angry for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look how angry he looks. You've uh, yes. got something on your suit. Oh, so I have. <clears throat> Anti stain formula, work your magic. Oh, jeez. Now I can see how it and really it. screws up. Just in the nick of time. Um, step back yeah, now. We're going to need a little space how here. How does it screw oh, up? Aren't you a vision? <laughs> You'll like see something it. that it's descended been a while, from the heavens. I know how. Yes, I'm feeling a bit elevated at the moment. There's something I've just got to ask Wait, you. Wait, your tie's a bit crooked. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply got to get it off my chest. Oh. Oh, I guess we didn't miss anything. Uh-oh. <laughs> my grandfather's suit! My formula! Oh. It looks like he's been Turn swimming in water. What the hell? Brown. Huh? Trixie Trotter. How do you know this woman? I don't. I mean, I listened to some of her records, and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I. Go on. Deny to the world that you know me. Perhaps it is true, but I know you all too well. What is going on here? You rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart? Well, you can take back your furs and take back this gaudy diamond, Ouch. too. I don't need your expensive presents. I need you. And more importantly, little Emmett Jr. needs you. <laughs> well, Edna, I... Don't Edna me. Apparently, you are not the man I took you for. But I am, see? The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love with. Oh, no. Let me see that card. Go well. <laughs> I should have known. A degenerate criminal. What? Get out of my sight. I never want to see you again. <laughs> that was rough, Emmett. I'm sorry you had to go through it, but... Things are gonna be okay. You and me can... Damn it. Oh. That went off great, huh? Yeah. Maybe too great. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah. we, we, at least we accomplished what we needed to do. <laughs> Although now... <laughs> Damn it! I like that he's skateboarding. <clears throat> I wonder, did they ever skateboard it at that time period? Damn it! Nope. Oh, it didn't no become way. a thing. It didn't Come become on, a thing until the uh, late seventies. I'm sorry you had oh, to go really? through that scene at yeah. the expo. Things didn't work out the way you expected, but everything's gonna turn out okay. See, I, I know how this story turns out, and the story is over. <gasps> oh shit! What the fuck? Okay, Emmett, hold still. I know your emotions are running a little wild, but don't do anything crazy. <laughs> emotions? What emotions? My emotions are dead. They're dead inside. Uh, hey, listen, listen, mm, you have to understand. Say you I'm have crazy. to continue Got making no porn, sense, okay? But I don't <laughs> care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Oh my god, you have to Stop. keep making porn, man. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Oh. And then what do you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. When I want to be alone. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, you can stay here then. Keep, you know, do what you gotta do. <laughs> here, I mean, if you want to make things interesting, you could just lean forward. Jeez, <coughs> oh, you murderer. <laughs> Let's make it worse. 
Doc, just jump, just jump, man. Just jump. What are you looking for? What are you thinking about? Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need... Porn. <laughs> to get some perspective, think about it. All the people who have it even worse than you. For instance, uh, Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air, and... And see, there's this wild storm going on, and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. Oh, we're gonna I change don't care that. about anything anymore. We'll fix and that. And I never man. will. Don't give me that. You care. You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Eh, yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. <laughs> Don't jinx it, buddy. <laughs> the telephone. Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long distance. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Crockett. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. Me? You care about me, Doc? <laughs> you? Y yeah. You... You did this to me. Did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Whoa. Okay, I can work with that. I love you, Sonny Crockett. Or is that even your real name? No. Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? I did it for the hell of it. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me. I did it because I wanted to. Edna was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. Oh, but there's more to it, see. I did it for the sake of your future. I did it for the fuck of it. So an asshole. <laughs> your father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes! How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? You know, I'm gonna try this to see what happens. I did it for no. fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You... Bastard! And all that time you spent building up my dreams, telling me I was gonna be a great scientist. You're delusional. Oh that's, my goodness! That's making it even worse. Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more that dreams in my little quickly. finger than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's what they said to Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, psychology. then Edna, now you. Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. 
my ideas. Do you hear me? My ideas. Great Scott, I've got it. Got what? The solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no, my airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets, not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning, the lightning! Suddenly the answer is clear. It came to me all at once, like, like... A bolt of lightning? Exactly! Static electricity! Super I and I static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside the... What's this stupid thing doing on my head? I Damn did it. not yeah, you're, expect you're this. You're you again! <laughs> Here I've been wasting my time with silly mind reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> and the expo begins at eight! <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens. What? I said, let's get out of here before anything... <gasps> okay. Well, this is a blast of the past. Would you like a photo of my dad? Jesus Christ, yes, we're back. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> this will put a picture. I'm not giving away my picture of dad. Here's a picture of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Giving away my wheels. No. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can't swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you got anything? It's not going anywhere. Can't you? Let's grab his helmet. And it's helmet. Maybe you can use it. I don't think he needs it now. Yeah, I was gonna say, he <laughs> wants his helmet back when anything else. Like... Should I go for help? <laughs> Should I not leave him? Should I abandon him? <laughs> You're still walking. Slip, 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 slip. <laughs> I'm going home. No, no, no. Damn Keep it. Like... What? I guess he can't hear me from down here. <laughs> God, would you like some algae cakes? <laughs> There's gotta be some way to reach him. Right? It's not going anywhere. Thank you, Marty. I I, I knew that. <laughs> uh, there, maybe the, is there's not going anywhere. Use the use the dad. Uh, use the picture of your can't dad undo on the it. Knot. Yeah. Can I? This rope that, is made of solid that, hemp. I can't tear it loose. That, to, to fail because his dad's the worst at Ma failing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, gosh, uh, throw him the skateboard? Sure, I don't know. Not giving away my wheels. <laughs> Come on. Uh, he's a smart guy, even when he's upside down. I'm Wait, good, but how about even I don't think I could skateboard on that. Couldn't you just drive to him? Yeah, do not leave him. How about you climb down the rope with Emmett on it? It won't let me go back up, though. That's the thing. This rope is made of solid hemp. I can't tear it loose. I mean, I wasn't gonna tear it loose. I was gonna, like, freaking. Go up and untie it. No, actually, you need that thing removed. Not sure what that'll do. <laughs> yeah, algae cakes in the statue. Alright, we need a hint. <laughs> Anybody in the courthouse doors? Oh! Hold on! Oh. I wasn't planning on doing anything else! <laughs> <laughs> The expo's already started. Oh. It's not going anywhere. I know that, Marty. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. Right. Save Emmett from falling to his death. I like the... Emmett! What? Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Don't. 
Oh, there, well, there we go. We could use that, right? I'm sorry about you and Edna. Water over the bridge. Now get me down from here. It's <laughs> like that. That's I'm the sorry time. I had to get you so upset. See, I figured you needed to forget it. This isn't the time for long-winded explanations. Good idea. <laughs> Hang in there. Very funny. All right, here we go. Let's uh. I got an idea. So cut down the rope using the anti-stain formula. That makes sense. Yeah, I would say after this, after after we get through this part of the sequence, you can't swing uh, on it while it's still attached to the statue. You gotta get down. After you get through this, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna switch to my phone. Fair enough. Emmett's solution. This stuff's dangerous. And now we can use it. It's not going anywhere. Snap. You have to sound like gunshot. That you it's like, all right, Emmett, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Emmett, goodbye. See you later. Hey, Emmett, what? I guess he can't hear me from down here. <laughs> well, I can't. Oh, well, you know, I can still go back in there. So I was just like, yeah. <laughs> Hang in there. I don't have a choice. <laughs> I gotta say, I like Marty Sue. I don't think the spray would reach all the way over there. Why would you want to? Okay, let's use it on the clock. <laughs> but then Marty that doesn't be need to be sprayed by fabric destroying enzymes. The expo's already started. Uh, you can grab the rope. It's Go on the rope. Anywhere. I think you can swing it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slowly. Yeah. I remember I had a rough time finding work back in school. Marty, just swing. Wait, wait, swing back and forth. Oh god! <laughs> Marty! Oh Jesus Christ, Marty! Marty! As he ah, gotcha! Let's get out of here! Your pants! They're stuck! Do something before we're crushed! Ah. We'll use the spray. Yeah, spray. What are you doing? Trust me! Hold on! <laughs> what did you say your name was again? Marty! Marty! Thanks! Don't mention it. Whoa. Uh, tungsten. The catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the converter will no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Ah, who cares? My thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? I agree. Amen. All right, I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna get switched to my phone. All right, I'll be RB. Alrighty. Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Well, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's Monday terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you remind me of someone... Someone I used to... <laughs> there, there, my dear, don't worry. I'm sure it will all turn out well in the end. Maybe for everyone else, but I suddenly uh, feel yeah, very yeah. much like someone who's Suck going to be back. alone and unloved for a very long time. Maybe I should get a cat. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long, fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett and his friends. Tell me, how much do you know about Sonny Crockett? Oh, that was literally the end of the episode. Okay. And now 
now it's time for episode five. Oh. Let's see the preview. Or no? Oh, there we go. Let me explain it again. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc. Doc, you. <laughs> I'll be right back. It's more complicated than it actually is, huh? Yeah, you guys, you guys, your pocket and I invest in getting my Guys, you're sizzling, that's because on the thing. So, now we gotta convince our guys to all these from the I honestly didn't realize we were at the end. That episode ended like really quickly. <laughs> it feels like we're on yeah. for like less than ten minutes. Let's see how far we get into this one. Yeah, let's I get like how oh, I ahead. like how um, that Michael J. Fox uses an actual fox for the mascot for his, his foundation for you know Parkinson's disease. That's, that's yeah, a it's, cute mascot. That's nice. All right. Yeah, that's cool. A little out of nowhere.